Alright, I'm going to try to explain what the prisoner's dilemma is, um, if you need to know. It is um, something I learned when I took a class on game theory. Um, it's the idea that no matter what you do, um, there's always one, there's one dominant choice. So rational people will always make that choice. Um, the, the example case is there are two prisoners, they get caught by the police, and the police put them in separate rooms, and um, they say, okay, talk. If you talk, you'll get the better deal than your friend. And if you don't talk, uh, your friend is going to confess, and so uh, you're going to get the blame for everything, and they're going to get to walk away. So uh, it's in the prisoner's best interest, interest to talk. If his friend talks, then uh, he'll still get a lighter deal, and if his friend doesn't talk, then he gets to walk away from it. Um, so really there's no choice the prisoner e either way should talk that's in their, that's what is in their best interest um, and that this happens in international politics a lot and the way to solve the prisoner's dilemma is you need things like um, repeated interactions so if a prisoner knows that they're going to meet up again with this other prisoner in the future, um, and they want to work together in the future, that it would be better to not talk, and uh, so that they can work together again, so, which is good because it means states, all states in the world have it, meaning countries, have it in their long-term best interest to cooperate with other countries. And um, another way... Um, well, just trust. If you already have established trust between the two of you, like if the two prisoners were married, they probably uh, are they're less likely to rat each other out. Maybe not. Um, but that's a way to try to solve it. And um, threats of retaliation on the outside. If they talk, and maybe their boss on the outside will uh, kill them if they talk, so they both won't talk. Because the best outcome for both of them is not talking. It's for both of them to keep their mouths shut and then the police have uh, no evidence against either of them and they have to let both of them go. But the dominant uh, solution for both of them is to talk. So they have a sub-optimal, sub-prime um, solution that's going to happen unless they have these other factors to stop it. And you can apply this to a lot of situations worldwide. And um, that's what the prisoner's dilemma is. I hope that was an all right explanation from the four of us.